Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, family. And how are y'all doing this lovely Thursday evening? But I don't know. You might be watching me in the morning or in the afternoon. And I just want to say thank you for coming. Hello, everyone. And thank you for coming to the channel. And you see what we are looking at right now. You're talking about blasphemy. 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 But I really believe she's a fallen angel anyway. And if anybody knows what the Bible says about the fallen angel, you could be looking at her. Okay, if we had to have... In the 21st century, the look of blasphemy and a fallen angel, okay? Because ain't no good with Kim, ain't no good with Kim Kardashian, okay? And then she does things, I also think, for shock factor. She has to be talked about. She has to be in the next best thing coming out of any designer closet. You see what I'm saying? She is a label hoe, yep, and she's a Dixon hoe. So what do we really expect from her buttholeness, okay, and vainness, and, and, and selfishness, and all those things that go with Satan's children, okay? Both of them are pretty much Satan's children. They are following angels because both of them think they can walk on water. Y'all remember when Kanye West was having his Sunday service and all of that? He got himself walking on water and his kids. Now, go figure. Do these people deserve anybody else in their lives? No, ma'am. She don't need to get remarried to nobody else, and she definitely don't need to get married to nobody else. Because they belong to each other. And they, they need to really just stop the fakeness, the fuckery, the foolishness, and fraudulent behavior and get their behinds back together. Because they don't... <sighs> I tell you. <laughs> it's just too much. It's just too much. I mean, who was it? And... You know, just say some shit like that. Okay, and I know most people are not Christians. Everybody come from every walk of the light. And everybody wants to know and be and say theirs is the best religion. Okay? But my thing is, the only person I know that walked on water that I was taught was Jesus Christ. Okay? That's the only person. Only person. Storm and seas and everything. You see how they got that boat lightning in the background? If anybody in the conspiracy theories and, you know, uh, trying to make people see the picture, like how they say, um, in plain sight, or you can't see the forest for the trees, the lightning bolt represents Satan, okay? It does. Look it up. Do your research. If you come to, if you come to a conspiracy theorist, you'll understand what I'm saying. But I like to look at things from all different angles. You just can't give me one. Let's see them two nuts up there doing it. Who would do that? They really was doing it for shock factor. But would you really look at that? That'd be like F Angel, right? She's supposed to be the Queen Angel, and he's supposed to be the uh, male version of the Deaf Angel. Get out of here, okay? They both deserve each other. That's what I'm saying. They wanted to separate. She wanted to be single. Yeah, who gonna want her without them four kids? <laughs> Holly had definitely left her. <laughs> Pete. But you see, Kanye doing one of his performances. Had him and his children and several of the group members that was a part of his entourage or his Sunday service choir. They're walking on water. I'm like, see what I'm saying? You just can't find the good reasoning in this. Because it's not. It's total blasphemy. It's total mockery. Everything that is good, they're turning it bad. And that's just the way it is. Okay? That's the only thing that is. You got to watch some of your uh, local stars that call themselves going up the ladder. Well, I'm just saying. You can look at it several different ways. You can come to your own conclusion. But 
you don't start jumping in them reins and, and moving up in the acting field or the music field. You got to be saluted. You got to be saying who you give homage to, who you praise to go up them ladders. Because why y'all think we have one hit wonders? Okay? One hit wonders. Evidently, they were tried and they failed because they wanted to keep their minds intact. They wanted to keep their souls intact. They wanted to keep their energy intact. So they walked away. Mm-hmm. Am I preaching to somebody? Am I preaching to somebody? But yes, and then if y'all, like I say, conspiracy theories only. You know they go have that goal of black and plum, what a kind of shit that is. You think they're gonna really do some demar uh, you know, the money stuff. Talking about the Statue of Liberty was last seen walking back to France. What you trying to say? Going to war with France? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Some people might think I ain't talking about shit, but then we have some people know I'm trying to get it on point. Okay, remember, it's always hidden in plain sight what the elites want you to know. Because there you go. Death. That's what I see. Death. Death. And the rebirth, you're going to call yourself walking on the water, calming the seas, calming the storm. Child, please. But anyway, who going to wear some heels now to the beach? Only Kim. Kim. Kim Kardashian, that's all. Wearing heels. Mm. Go figure. Okay. She really thinks she's some goddess. She really thinks she is the queen of all queens. Whew. Child, that won't get on my nerve. And Kanye. Who I wish they bought an island and just go live there. We won't have, you know, have to see them or, or hear from them ever again. Okay? Ever again. But they, they both like to do things for shop factor, like he over there selling his clothing line at the Gap in garbage bags. Oh, I can't go there. <coughs> I won't go there. But we're going to move on to a story that page six wrote out on Kim Kardashian. Walks on water. And is it Balasinga? Balasinga. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That designer campaign. Okay, it was written up by Margaret Abrams. She goes in to say, someone's feeling fussy in her Vasilius. A Vasilius. Yeah, y'all read it, okay? Vasilius. I don't know, okay? I tried, I tried. Feel miserably, okay? Kim Kardashian is in Balasinga's biggest supporter. And the brand's most famous model appearing to walk on water in the house. New file 2022 campaign. Okay. The Kardashians star stuns in a sexy electric blue swimsuit gown. Priced at $3,550. Black hourglass bag. $2,700. And a sleep days in one of the famous curves as lightning strikes in the distance. Don't get hit with the thunderbolt. Don't get hit with the thunderbolt. Because that's what you're going to be. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to bust hell wide open. Just my opinion. Just my opinion. Okay. Um, Let me see. The bathing suit inspired style is an ideal pick for the Skims swim creator. Down to the gown's built-in gloves which looks similar to the swim goods Kardashian's been pushing all summer. Okay? Moda, Operadini, or something like that, one of the retailers selling the look, urges shoppers to complete the look with the house signature of pantaleggings, a favorite style of the stars. Okay? <laughs> Kardashian. 41 shared snaps from the campaign in which Balalisinga is written over her infamous bottom with her 329 million Instagram followers Wednesday. The cover, the best part, quip pal Jonathan Fugard Chibin in the comments. Well, let's see what it will it play for us. Let's see what it say, y'all. Let's see what it say, y'all. Oh, come on. Oh, okay, it's just one of those um, steel shots. And she's just sitting on a, that's it right there, sitting on a, a, a chair. Like she's just in the water, just floating all the way around. 
And that looks like a clone, don't it? That's who she got. Just been doing too much plastic, okay? Too much plastic on her. Yeah, she looks like a wax figure. Okay, there go the Satan children. But anyway, wild lightning doesn't strike twice. This particular dress does. Kardashians originally rocked the skin tight style at the star studded 2022 Vanity Fair Oscar party in March. Mm -hmm. Another image from the Balasinga's new campaign sees the Mongol braving the elements yet again, this time by posing in a black and yellow floral flock frock in the snow. Yep, in the snow. That's that, uh, yep, orange or black that I got in here. It should be coming up uh soon but yeah all that winter time out there and she's dressed in that uh attire that's gonna make her freeze her butt off but you know hey she does it for a fact she does it to stay in the limelight she thinks she's a fashionista she thinks she can get down with all the top brands well i ain't see her model anything if she was that hot that bad why she ain't trying to model you know what I'm saying? Get paid for it. Make that her career. No, she just want to sit around and do stupid stuff for shock therapy or shock factor and continue to just lay around and do shit, pretty much. Because she don't work. Sitting up there doing a podcast whenever you feel like you want to do it, whatever the time you want to do it, it's not work. That's laziness. Just sitting down saying, well, I'm not lazy. I'm just tired. <laughs> really? Okay. Going back to the article. It says, Kardashian is a longtime Balasinga loyalist, having worn looks from the label ranging from a caution tape cat suit to an identity obscuring all black getup. She even modeled in the brand's couture show. Mm -hmm. I ain't see her. Probably wasn't that good, but then I wasn't really checking for her in the first damn place. At Paris Fashion Week in July. Is that the one that she took her daughter to? Is that the one she took her daughter to? And her daughter was holding up a sign. So I'm going to stop. Knowing good and goddamn well. Y'all were doing it for the gram. Y'all were doing it for celebrity ship. Y'all were doing it for the magazines. Okay? So you can get splattered over that. So y'all already teaching the baby girl stupid shit. Already. I hope y'all never lose y'all fortune. Because the whole Kardashian clan would be looking... Really crazy out here. Like, I don't know how to do that. Can you teach me how to do that? I mean, things that you should know just from living every day. But she don't live in the real world. She lives in all of her glorious fame. Uh, what do you call it? Bubble type existence. Okay? And it's okay for people that want to do it. It's okay. All right? I ain't knocking you. I'm just saying. Shit don't make sense. You be doing all of that. And then... You don't even know how to clean a bathroom. You don't know how to wash dishes. You see, you see where I'm going with this, people. But anyway, we're going to finish this article. Just as soon as my phone starts spinning. Okay. Come on now. Hold on, guys. I just got this phone. Okay. Okay. All right, Kardashian is a long time, but okay, that we read that. Okay, the Keeping Up with the Kardashians alum was famously introduced to Balasinga's creative director, Demna, by his ex, Kanye West. So see, she got Kanye West for notoriety, you know, because the brother could rap at one point in time, okay? And I just don't see his clothing Crazy that everybody got to have Kanye West shit either. I mean, he's a better rapper, um, what do you call it, Mongo music talent, and that's pretty much where it needs to stay, because the shit that he's been putting out here look like trash. I'm just saying, especially those creature walkers, I call them, but he calls them slip-ons, I guess, but I call them cre creeper, creeper, I say creature, yeah, creature walkers. Mm -hmm. Okay, but anyway, we're going on back uh, to the article. Uh, she was introduced, like I said, to this famous designer through Kanye. She loves using his connections. And she she loves to stay in shop factor where she want to keep them here, keep them there. Because I really think it's a hoax. I think they played, but well, they ain't played me because I don't, I don't believe anything they do pretty much. Unless I can see the shit myself. 
and then I probably still would believe it. But um, yeah, the whole thing about you want to be legally single, like nah, why don't you be legally divorced? But that's what we need you at, legally divorced. But it's all a trick. They're gonna probably get back together next year. They're gonna probably get back together next year. Okay, that's a hunch I have. But it goes on to say, and we will finish this. Uh, and it seems a former couple has passed along their love of the labor to their daughters, who were recently spotted toting four figure bags from the brand. That's it. What I'm talking about. You're gonna give a kid that don't even know probably how to count to a fucking hundred. But just because her family have this, that, and the third, she gonna be with some four thousand dollar bags or higher. Okay, I tell you, these people do not know what to do with their money. Okay, they do not. They do. Why put her put that in there? Why you just invest in her company, like uh, Beyonce did Blue Ivy? Why you didn't do no shit like that? But you buying her a uh, four figure bag to carry around. Oh my 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 my. But anyway, that's pretty much all we got for this particular article, y'all, on Balasinga. Um. Couture wear and the Kardashians and Kim sporting it all out. How much she walking on water? Woo! That's a that's blasphemy, y'all. That's blasphemy. Y'all get down in those comments and y'all tell me what y'all thought about this new um promo for Balasinga. I guess I'm pronouncing that right. I don't give a shit if I ain't okay. Uh, th what y'all think about Kim trying to walk on water? Of course, she's just copying what um. Her uh, ex-husband, or uh, they together. Let's just keep them together. Her better half. He was already on Sunday service. That was what he called his show. Uh, when he wants to uh, cut up and do more blasphemy type of stuff. Uh, he was walking on water. So, Kim going to do a, a, a promo or end model into this walking on water theme again. That her famous designer, Bella Singer. Okay, about... Let me see. How y'all say that? I heard it, and I said it right one time, but it's Ba La Siega. Oh, y'all know it's an Italian Italy designer, okay? Let's just put it that way. And my whole thing is, why don't they just wear their own damn clothes? You know what I'm saying? Put some clothes out there, similar to those pieces, and you can sell them for probably whatever you want to, because only your faithful lawyer people are going to buy them. Rest of people like me, uh uh, no, because it's the same material. It's either gonna be cheap looking and you're gonna, gonna pay like Kanye wanted for a plain t shirt, white t shirt now, a hundred dollars. His sock was seventy dollars. Okay, I'm like, go to the store, go to Walmart, get you the same shit, and it don't even cost half of that. Okay, amount, but that's all we got on this particular article. Kim called herself blaspheming and gonna probably bust hell wide open. Uh, saying she's sitting on water, wasting her time while it storms, and then when she wants to calm the storms a little more, she's going to go walk on water. Ain't that some bullshit? Woo! I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. That's what it is. That's what it's going to be. I ain't got no more for this video, and I got to go. All right? But get down on some comments and make sure you subscribe to me. Make sure you, if you're not a fam now, I can't be no good without y'all, Okay? So, I need you to tell people to come on over to the channel. Subscribe. subscribe. I got to work on my uh, other channel. I had left that alone for a minute. Okay? Uh, but I'll be back over now because it's got a long weekend. And I shall be throwing some uh, videos up over there. And that's that. Make it make sense. Okay? But, uh, yeah. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.